Hey everyone! Today we will create credit card in Figma using Auto Layout. Let's get started. Here we will create the whole card using Auto Layout. For that, let's add the text first. The first text is our bank name. I'm just typing the random name which coming to my mind. Let's the name be Royal Bank. Make the text regular to black. I want the text should be in capital. So for that, go to type settings and make it uppercase. Now I'm increasing the size of the text to something around 16. I'm changing the text fill to shiny silver color. If you want the text code, then I will mention it in the frame. Now add auto layout. Enter shift plus A on your keyboard. Increase its horizontal padding to 147. Now add fill to your frame. Black color fill is added to the background. I added a central icon, which we see in our credit cards. Go to Auto Layout Panel and make the arrow to down so that the icon will align in vertical direction. Now replace them and make the gap between the elements to 14 and vertical padding to be 20. Now duplicate the text and add the security number. Duplicate it again for some numbers again. Make the size quite smaller, like to 10. Duplicate it again and add the text, which will be the year validity ending. Now add the card holder name. As you can see the benefits of auto layout, how it's systematically arranging the elements inside the auto layout. And you can also change the spacing of elements in auto layout panel. This shows the difference between normal design versus auto layout design. It can also be done normally without using auto layout, but that's the wrong way of design. And that also consume much time. Now I'm just real quick rearranging inside elements to its respective position. Cards are a versatile UI design element used to present content in AA structured and visually appealing way. They consist of a container that holds various types of content such as text, images, icons, or interactive elements. Cards are commonly used in a web and mobile application for displaying a variety of information in a concise and organized manner. 
There are various types of card you can design like product cards, event cards, postcards, image cards, etc. Here I'm again adding auto layout between these two texts so that we could align them to horizontal direction. To make changes in inside elements, we will have to do it like this too. I'm also adding text to it, text as credit card, so that we shouldn't get confused. Again, I'm adding auto layout to it to align them in horizontal direction. You just rename all these frames that you have created. Update the left side panel. It will make it easier for you to recognize the layer that you created. I'm making some some changes with this icon color to give it a realistic view. I hope my best to make it like that.
Okay, the front side of our card is done finally. Next, similarly create the back side of card too. I also added a fancy background to the card. This will be our backside view of card. Rename the frame. Before designing, flip the card to horizontal direction and start designing. I'm fast forwarding my designing here. You do this also in similar way. Backside of credit card is done. Now we will animate this card by prototype. Copy these two cards. Then align them at horizontal center and vertical center. Now make sure that back side of credit card flip horizontal, cause to give a flip effect, and put it back of the front card. Now copy them all and put it in a frame, and rename the frame. Duplicate this frame. In credit card to frame, flip the front card horizontal direction and make its opacity to zero. Due to zero opacity, the backside of card is clearly visible. And also flip this card horizontally. Select both the frame and create a component set of it. Rename the frame and start prototyping it. Join the card one to card two. It must be an on click and put it dissolve to smart animate. And similarly, join the card two to card one and make changes to it. Now add iPhone 13 mini to your background to see the instances or animation. For that, go to Asset and grab the component to your frame. Click the main frame and add flow starting point to it. Now you see the flip effect. Click on the card. It will flip back and front. I hope you guys liked this video and found it valuable and learned something new. Thanks for watching.